So brigadenib is uh, an inhibitor of a protein called ALK. ALK is a gene that drives uh, the progression of a certain subset of non small cell lung cancer. About 4% of lung cancers are driven by the ALK uh, gene being activated. Brigantinib is a next generation inhibitor that we think overcomes the problems with resistance that are found especially with the first generation drug called crizotinib. At ASCO this year we'll be presenting an update on long-term data from our phase 1-2 trial which was the first trial that was testing the activity of brigatinib. That's mainly in patients who have um, experienced failure of crizotinib as their first ALK therapy and the important features of the data that we'll be presenting here are that the patients are doing extremely well in terms of the duration of the response that, uh, that is being seen. Um, now we have progression-free survival, PFS, which is beyond the one-year time frame in patients who previously had failure of crizotinib. And that's an important landmark for, for the field. We don't believe that that's been seen with other agents. Uh, we also have an update on the safety of the drug, which uh, continues to show that in general, uh, the, the drug is relatively well tolerated. We do see some early pulmonary symptoms in some patients, which we've been able to alleviate by uh, using lower dosing uh, schedules. We also have an interesting feature of activity in patients who have metastases of their cancer in the brain. That's a really key problem in patients who have ALK lung cancer and especially those who fail on crizotinib. More than 50% of those patients uh, experience failure through brain metastases. And we've shown essentially equivalent response rates and progression-free survivals within the, the brain disease as we have in the systemic lung disease.